Jack here, JB of Music and Guitar Lessons. Hopefully most of that is pretty self-explanatory with the tabs and the demo. I couldn't find a concise lesson or tabs for the studio version, so card up there if you want to know the one that I've gone for. So I thought I might as well do a lesson on it because there are quite a few variations on the song, different live versions and such. So a few other things worth pointing out. In the intro, the lead guitar, Guitar 1, it does those volume swells. I, I, I rolled down the tone pot here for some more authenticity, it sounds like that on the record. For Guitar 2, which to be honest I think is the hardest part, both in terms of remembering all the subtle changes and keeping the string hops clean for all those kind of weird picking parts, ideally you want a slapback style delay, maybe 16th note or thereabouts. On the record, the wet, the delayed signal is hard pan to the left, I think, and the dry signal without the delay to the right. Not totally necessary, but worth noting if you're looking to really nail the sound. For the second part of the intro, I would suggest using a wah pedal for the lead. So Michael Schenker will often use his wah and kind of tilt it forward so it's a bit cocked and you get this really, you get this, this sweet spot, you'll get this really honky kind of mid-range rich sound which cuts really well in a mix. I, I did go a bit overboard here and didn't really do the technique justice so please do learn from my mistakes. For the harmony part, most of the bends are fairly slow and the vibrato is very considered and controlled which helps the harmony sound more cohesive. The backing here is just the rhythm guitar so that's the second half of the verse. So I've kind of already taught that, which is why I didn't bother doing it independently. The verse, you can play very staccato um, or make it bouncy. So you can go dit, 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 or make it more dit, 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 uh, with more of a kind of chug. If you've got two guitar players, I'd suggest one plays it more staccato for more bounce and then the other plays it a bit looser for a bit more of a kind of uh, beefy chug. Uh, just to fill out the sound a bit more than anything else. So uh, make sure you get that little fill in bar 1 in the verse and also make use of the open A string to shift shapes between the power chords whenever it pops up in the tab. The choruses change slightly every time they pop up so that's why I did three of them. Also Guitar 2 will do a pick scrape uh, on bar 4 on the first time repeat just like I did in the demo and it's also noted in the tab as well. But cool so if you've enjoyed this or found it useful please subscribe, check out my Uli John Roth video or this one here. Leave a comment, share and enable notifications with that little bell on the side if you feel so inclined. Cheers guys.